Hi, hello everyone, Zerushin here, and welcome to another episode. In this episode, I'm deciding to try a end highlands challenge, where the biome is just the end highlands, and we're gonna see how this goes. This is the amount of wood I have for this play session, so this is gonna be very interesting. Uh, we also have the difficulty on easy, just to make it easy on me, because I'm not that good at survival Minecraft yet, I'm gonna wanna learn, but for now, yeah. So for now I'm making a stone pickaxe and then we're gathering a bit of dirt so we can try to tower up to one of the end islands, I think. But we ended up in the end making a boat for going to one of them and we went over the hill because there was a end island right on over here. This is also one of the ones with loot in it so I wanted to get here fat first. Because then I can get maybe some diamond tools or iron, iron tools. Either way, those would be really good. But we looked into the chest and that isn't too good of a sword, but we're definitely going to take it. And those beetroot seeds are going to be very, very important. Plus we got some tools, which were nice. Then we were grabbing a few of the end rods for lighting because we only have three torches and can't really make more easily. But then I fell. And then this end rod basically saved me, which is quite cool. But anyways, then we gathered some of the purple and the end stone from this city area here to work on our base. But first, we made a water bucket and then got our way towering up to the boat. Got stuff done here. Finally killed one of the shulkers. I had actually come up here many times, but ended up... Uh, not having much luck with them, but eventually we got inside and now we have enough for a shulker box, which makes me very happy. Hopefully we can use that more in the future, but we got the loot from the chest world, which overall was pretty good, and a few diamonds, which was very nice, and that helmet is really good. Uh, yeah, the only bad thing on it was uh, fire protection. And not that fire protection is bad, but it's not really that useful in this kind of thing. But we got to clearing out a area here and then got to work on making it a actual home. So we got to placing everything, got getting iron on, and then unfortunately for food, we got to use beetroot. And beetroot only restores about half of your hit of a hunger bar, so... That really didn't work out too well, but it's what we have for this play session. I don't know if I'm going to turn this into an actual series or not. You guys let me know down below. But then we get to customizing our area down here. I think it turns out okay. Uh, and this cobblestone decided to do a really weird thing, and I don't quite know what it was trying to do. But that went on for about like five minutes. But <laughs> anyways, now we got to working on the rest of the base. We gotta keep in mind on the wood situation because the wood we have is what we have because there is no way to get more wood, which is why I was very eager to get these tools. Like this shovel here has efficiency 4, which makes it amazing for gathering more dirt to go raid some more cities to get some more loot. So we towered up, grabbed a few of the end rods here, and then made our way over to the chest room and got an okay sword and some more diamonds and some gold I don't know what we use the gold for but you know I do know we have one apple left which was very nice then we watched the beetroot grow for a little while because I did not know what else to do at the moment to be completely honest I decided to see if I could survive five days uh, as you can see here I was really really low but we're making another farm area for the beetroot because beetroot is really slow and restores only half of a hunger bar so definitely gonna probably have to make it into soup whenever we want to eat it uh but it'll cost planks so we'll see if we do that or not but then we noticed some pillagers up there so that's interesting then we watched the beetroot grow some more and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for it really helped me out a lot let me know if you think I should make this into a actual series or not. I honestly don't know where I would go with this. And down here, this is the mostly finished product of down here. We're just going to work on it maybe a little bit more later if you guys want to see that. 
But yeah, overall, I think this turned out okay. Hopefully we can make an anvil soon so we can fix up the pickaxe. But yeah, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for really helping me a lot, out a lot. And once again, let me know if you want to see more of this kind of series. series. But yeah, with that, I shall see you guys all next time. Zerushin!